first things first, starting on May 6th, we have a bunch of new release items this Friday. Three new items coming out. The very first one is one that is super, super hyped up and a lot of people have pre-ordered these items already. And uh, by the way, if you guys wanna buy any of these items, I'll leave links down below to safe places where you guys can buy them where you're not gonna get scammed. The very first item we're talking about, of course, is the Legends Arceus V Box Collection with the figurine. The Arceus V Figure Collection Box is definitely an item I see selling out very, very quickly. I know some places already have pre-orders sold out for this already, including my locals, man, to trading. Yeah, there's a lot of good reason to be excited about this item. It comes with four booster packs, a promo, which is an alternate art Arceus V or Arceus V, the same promo that you got for pre-ordering Legends Arceus in Japan, just without the special stamp on it. You also have a figurine coming with it as well, and who doesn't love a nice figurine? And the pack selection is honestly pretty decent. We're looking at two packs of Brilliant Stars, one pack of Chilling Rain, and potentially, potentially, one pack of Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, that is a really big deal for a lot of people because Cosmic Eclipse packs are insanely hard to find right now. They're pretty expensive. Oh yeah, and you also do get a code card to get that Arceus V in the online TCG, which you can actually buy right now in a Pokemon Trading Card Game Live if you wanted to uh, opt for that alternate art V. I'm gonna be buying two of these boxes from one of my local spots. So if you want a shot at that promo alternate art Arceus V, that is a mouthful, or the figurine, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see that unboxing video. The next item releasing on May 6th are the six new Pokeballs for spring 2022. These are items we've seen released time and time again. However, this time there is a new Pokeball they're adding to the mix that we haven't seen before. And that is going to be the Love Ball. Yeah, I honestly didn't even know this ball existed till, uh, till now, but it's actually pretty cool. It's pink. So if you have anyone who loves pink Pokeballs, this might be a nice little gift to give them. And at the moment, we don't know the uh, current pack selection for these tins. Typically, they have three packs inside and one coin. So if you guys want to see what we open up from the six Pokeballs, make sure you guys check out my unboxing video of those. We're going to open up all six. And included in these six spring Pokeballs are the uh, the Quick Ball and the Level Ball making a reappearance. These Pokeballs aren't something that typically fly off the shelves. However, if you do want a particular Pokeball, then make sure you guys look for, look for them. And uh, if the pack selection ends up being amazing, it'll definitely be an item that has potential to sell out really quickly. And the final item we're releasing on May 6th is going to be the Pokemon Collector's Chest Spring 2022. Now, not to get this confused with the Collector's Bundle that released earlier this spring. It has, uh, it's basically a just a cardboard box with a bunch of packs and a bunch of extras. I opened that on the channel. This one is a chest, a tin version. So it has a seal on it and everything. Pokemon Company loves to release these every spring and fall season. So it just makes sense to have one for spring featuring your boy Arceus on the cover. At the moment, we don't know the exact pack selection, but we do know that it's going to include five booster packs that are going to be, of course, from the Sword and Shield era. We have three foil promo cards included are the Rallet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawa, all, of course, featured in Legends Arceus, the video game. Pokemon coin, along with a bunch of stickers, because that's typically what they come with. It's also going to come with a little mini portfolio, which is like a one card binder kind of ordeal, and a little notepad, which I use my uh, <laughs> I use my notepads all the time right here. It's, just, it's pretty handy. It's, it's, they're pretty cute. This is one um, from the, the recent Eevee one. And of course, a code card to get those three promos in the online game. Next up on May 13, we have the release of the build and battle kits for Astral Radiance. This month is all about Astral Radiance, the brand new Pokemon set. And as per usual, about two weeks before the official set release is when the build and battle releases or build and battle kits release along with the uh, pre-release events. So if you guys want to see what it's like to attend a pre-release event, I actually did one for Fusion Strike. I went to a couple Fusion Strike pre-releases and uh, the homies over at Manta Trading were going to be going over to their local game shop and competing in their build and battle tournament. Also, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you guys want to compete alongside your boy in Toronto or in Markham in that area, then uh, you guys can buy your ticket, aka your build and battle box, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's great for both new and older players because it's a pretty le leveled, uh, even playing field for everybody on the table. So uh, yeah, good luck to everybody attending those events. And if you're going to attend them, let me know in the comments down below too. The build and battle kits come with four booster packs inside, plus plus a little mini kind of trial deck, which you're going to combine with the four booster packs you get. And there is a chance at one of four different promos you can get from the build and battle kits. The four promos coming out in this build and battle set include Hisuian Samurat, we have Hisuian Baskulugian, a fish looking Pokemon, a Y-Deer, and a Magnezone. And they all have the Astral Radiance stamp. Also, fun fact, if you want to open up Astral Radiance early, you can actually attend these events and uh, 
some of the build and battle kits you can actually buy after the tournament once it's done because they have some extras left over sometimes. So uh, yeah, if you wanna open up Astral Radiance early, that's the best way to do it. But just be warned that sometimes there is a extra little premium because you are buying the cards a little bit early. So yeah, good luck to everybody attending pre-release events in your area. And again, if you wanna attend one in Toronto, I'll leave a link to Mounted Tradings in the description down below. I love going over there for my Friday locals and uh, the pre-release events are just as fun, if not a little bit more. On to May 20, we have another Milk Carton release. That sounds really funny to say, but you guys know all about the premium Marnia, Marnie Premium Collection Tournament Milk Carton that came out many, many months ago. Well, now there's gonna be a Professor Juniper one. Included in the Professor Juniper Premium Tournament Collection bundle, it has the one full art foil Professor's Research with Professor Juniper on it, three additional Professor Researches with some promo special art, and it might have a little signature on it like how Marnie has hers. It also comes with 65 sleeves, which honestly aren't that great for playing with because they get really, really beat up quite easily. It'll come with a deck box as well, similar to my Marnie one here. It's plastic and it's quite small, but it's pretty nice. But of course, it's gonna be Professor Juniper branded. It's also gonna come with a large metallic coin, a poison and burn acrylic counter as well, six damage counter dice, and seven booster packs in total. We don't know the exact pack selection, but you guys will see on the channel when we open them up. Now on to May 25, we have another V-Star Pokemon box collection coming out, and this one looks awesome. We are talking about Cleavor V-Star, and uh, if you're a fan of Cleavor, or a Scizor or a Scyther. This is the rock type Pesuian version and it looks really, really cool. Similar to how they just released the uh, the fighting Lucario V-Star box. This one is basically the same, but just it's gonna have Cleavor instead. The Cleavor V-Star Premium Collection includes one full art Cleavor V promo, one full art Cleavor V-Star promo, along with an oversized version of the V-Star Pokemon card and six booster packs. From what I can see, the six booster packs are going to be a variety of packs from Brilliant Stars to Fusion Strike, and there might be something else included, but that's what we can see from the images at the moment. Oh yeah, and it also is going to come with a Jumbo Metallic Coin, which is pretty dope, plus a really cool Cleavor pin, which we're gonna give away on the channel, just like we're giving away the Lucario pin, which uh, if you wanna win this, check out the Lucario V-Star unboxing. And we're also giving away a Morpeko pin in the uh, Morpeko V Union box opening. And on that note, since we are talking about some giveaways, let's announce the winners for the Bolton and the Wulu right now, you're on screen. So congratulations if you won these promos and uh, yeah, reach out to me in the comments or email me. And finally, let's get to May 27, the official release date for Astral Radiance. And it's also the day the Vancouver Regionals are happening or is happening. However, you can't use those cards because they won't be tournament legal. But let's talk about it, Astral Radiance. We of course have the booster box releasing. So if you want the biggest bang for your buck in terms of packs per dollar, it's gonna come with 36 packs in total. Some stores will also offer you the option to buy 24 blister packs bundled together and that's actually a pretty good uh, way to go about buying a bunch of packs as well there's also an astral radiance elite trainer box releasing which will have eight booster packs in total plus sleeves plus dice plus coins plus uh yeah pretty much all that good stuff that's always in the elite trainer boxes and if you want to splurge a little bit you can also go on the pokemon center's website the official website and get the pokemon center elite trainer box bundle which has two extra packs so 10 astral radiance packs in total with some premium metallic like uh, dice and coins and all that good stuff. And it also has special sleeves, which will be different compared to the regular Elite Trainer Box. And the color scheme of that ETB is different too. There's also going to be a mini binder or a mini portfolio that also comes with one booster pack. And then onto the blister packs that have a variety of different promo cards. So starting off with the three pack blisters is going to be one for Sylveon, the Sylveon three pack blister, which also comes with a silvery EV coin. And there's going to be an EV three pack blister that also comes with the, uh, the jumbo silver EV coin. Pokemon Company really knows what they're doing, man. Every single time a new set releases, they're always releasing evolution promo cards in these three pack bundles, basically forcing you to buy the bundles or buy the singles out there somewhere. But either way, those three pack bundles are getting sold. And in terms of the single promo check lane blister packs releasing, they have one with your boy Toxel that also comes with a Zero Aura Silver Jumbo coin and one with Oracorio, which I'm not too big of a fan of. And you might be wondering about the uh, the Build and Battle Stadium, that cool bundle that comes with two Build and Battle boxes and four extra packs. Really great to open up with the friend and battle 
battle each other with, well, that's gonna be releasing on June 10th. Also, we're gonna do a little thank you giveaway for making it to the end of the video. Just comment down below what item you're most looking forward to this month in May. One sealed pack of celebrations. And if you guys are new to the game, wanna learn how to play, check out the uh, the deck reviews I did for Rayquaza and Noivern. They'll be on screen right now. We're actually giving away these decks. So check out those videos, catch those giveaways, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.